Aldrin, plenty of discussions around uh, what's lacking in terms of uh, the readiness of the people uh, in Zimbabwe for these elections in just five days' time, particularly under the spotlight, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. Well, certainly, just listening to what Nelson Chamisa had to say in his address over here, where he says that um, the Electoral Commission is in bed with um, ZANU-PF, and um, there is already probably a predetermined outcome to these elections. However, though, they believe that um, victory is certain. He believes that the MDC alliance will emerge victorious out of the 30 July elections that will be taking place on Monday. One of the questions, though, is that what happens in case the results do not come out as they are expecting and as they have already articulated? This is the MDC alliance. And he said um, that the MDC will not accept any fake um, results. Victory for the MDC alliance is certain. There was also a question around um, the demonstrations, whether he still encourages people to demonstrate and he's indicated that he believes that demonstration is also a peaceful means of highlighting some of the issues um, that the MDC has been speaking about throughout um, the course of um, the process leading up to the election. So the 30th of July, um, Nelson Chamisa will be contesting those elections and um, they're expecting nothing but um, a victory. And in terms of what Emerson Mnangagwa is saying, uh, just uh, with regard to the various issues still outstanding, uh, the polling stations uh, have yet to be uh, the, uh, have yet to have the voters' role being placed at the various polling stations, polling officers, their identity, their source, and the issue around uh, ballot papers, how many have been printed, who printed them. Has the president come out and, and told the ZEC in any uh, way that it needs to sort out these outstanding issues? We don't know of any meeting that has taken place between the ZEC and the government. What uh, Emerson Nagawa has been emphasizing throughout um, these few days is that government will allow the ZEC to run the processes leading up to the elections. And yesterday, there was a meeting between the various political parties, including ZANU-PF, where the ZEC did indicate that they will release the, ne the number of ballot papers, the uh, publicized rather, um, the number of ballot papers that have been printed as well as who um, has printed or manufactured those uh, ballot papers. Those will be released in the next couple of days. They did indicate that that will happen this week. And as you heard earlier on, Nelson Chamisa saying, as it stands right now, they still don't know who it is who has printed um, these um, ballot papers. And for them, that is a concern. Nelson also indicating that um, they have put together some sort of mechanisms to ensure that these elections are not rigged, but he wouldn't go into detail about those mechanisms. But one of the issues that they have raised um, throughout these few days leading up to the elections with the ZEC is the type of pen that, were, that will be used. And uh, I think about two days ago, three days ago, when the ZEC was meeting all the observer missions, they did indicate that they will allow um, the electorate, whoever it is who comes to vote, to use whatever pen they would like to use to um, cast their ballot because there have been accusations around um, these pens that will be distributed at the various polling stations. And um, the ZEC says uh, one mechanism or one way rather to deal uh, with that issue and uh, to allay fears is to allow the electorate um, and those who will be voting to have to come with their own pens and uh, make their X mark. Now, Aldrin, you're of course part of uh, a large media contingent uh, in the country covering Zimbabwe's uh, elections this year. Uh, what about international observers? Have you had an opportunity uh, to interact with uh, any of those types of representatives and what have they told you? We're actually expecting a press briefing from the Commonwealth um, this morning, but um, that press briefing has now also been delayed. Where we're expecting them to articulate what their observation has been of um, the processes leading up to election, especially considering that you have one candidate who's already pulled out, um, a Divine Hove, who's pulled out of um, the race and saying that he will not be contesting. He believes that the foundation has already been laid for a contested result, whatever the outcome of um, those results were. We spoke to the African Union earlier on this morning. They gave a briefing and um, they have indicated that um, they will be looking at all the processes and after they've received all the debriefing sessions and have been debriefed on all the processes leading up to the elections, they will then give us some sort of outcome what they think um, the processes have been leading up 
um, to the 30th of July, but um, there has not been a lot of noise, although the African Union has indicated um, just ahead of the MDC Alliance meeting that they hope that all participants, those who have indicated that they will be participating in these elections, do make sure that they partake in these elections. And now after this briefing from the MDC Alliance, we know for certain that the MDC with Nelson Chamisa as the presidential candidate, one of the two front runners, will be contesting these polls. All right.